All right, Shalom Akim. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rekakwadash, for allowing me to do another lesson. Yahweh is who the world inwardly calls God. Yahweh Shai is his son, who the world inwardly calls Jesus Christ, and there's no God beside them. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect, whom the most I have given is to hear. This lesson is going to be entitled Waiting on the World to Change. And um came by way of me on my way to the plant. And I just come across a, a wave of just molds and transformers dressing lewdly, acting riotously. And um and we are as as a righteous lot who are vexed with the filth of Sodom. You know, the things I saw today, man, niggas, you know, niggas six, seven with high heels and a fucking uh, a poom poom shorts on. You know, women walk around with tight ass pants and titties out, literally. You know, and um, that type of lootness, it will stop. You know, these things that we see, we go back and tell our power. To deliver us from these You know And um We understand that we have to have patience Because Prophecies Will do this that You know There's stages to our deliverance And according to Those stages or those prophecies Many people will have to be put to death For these lewd acts This is 2nd Ezra chapter 15 Verse 4 for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. You so-called black, Hispanics, Native Americans that want to take hold on the, 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 the ways of the wicked, you're going to die. Yahweh Bashimi Shai is going to see to your death in various service, uh, ways. We talked about it at camp. I was watching the brothers in Las Vegas. They talked about it. Wild beasts are going to come after you. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. He was unfaithful to the Lord. He was unfaithful to the law, to the prophets, to the testimonies. The only thing he was faithful to was to your own belly. Like the scriptures say, whose God is their bellies. Let me grab that actually. Philippians 3 and 19 Whose end is destruction Whose God is their belly And whose glory is their shame Let me grab it Salakia Three seventeen, Philippians 3 and 17 Brethren be followers together of me And mark them which walk so As ye have us for an ensample For many walk of whom I have told you often And now tell you even weeping That they are enemies of the cross of Yahweh Shai Or Mashiach You know You got false pastors telling you prosperity is on its way Set up You know set up camp here in wickedness Alright In the land of our captivity in the valley of the shadow of death, whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is their shame, who mind earthly things. You know? And, um, you know, our people, they mind this wickedness from the heads on down to the, uh, to the, uh, uh peons. You know, every holiday, no matter what they're doing, they got to stop, you know what I'm saying, spend money they know they don't have to celebrate. All right? All in the spirit of mirth. Not knowing that this place, the, the, the mirth is gone. And when we see these people howling just like we howling in the spirit now, you know, as we got to walk around and see them in mirth while we catch pain, hey, the world's going to reverse. So let's go to uh, 
Back at 2nd Ezra 15 and 8. I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. And we see these things and we complain continually. I always say, you know, you feel like you're going off sometimes. You ain't throwing up curses on these demons, man. And therefore, saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. You know, and the beautiful thing about doing these uh, works is that we may be uh, put aside, set aside for what the Lord got planned for you demons. You know, My brother was telling me, I believe they said somebody has shot up a, a, a mo club. I don't know where. You know, but when I heard it, I immediately thought of Florida. I believe that actually happened in Florida. It was like uh, caught on fire or some shit. Hey, look forward to it. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Can we pray constantly to Yahweh Shai? Yahweh Shai is weeping. Yahweh is weeping. You know, no parent wants to see their kid uh, struggle and cry. You know, so eventually, how about Shimmy, how is is going to get us out of here? This is why we pray for the Lord's prophecies to come to pass. You know, we got to pray more for the Lord's prophecies to come to pass so we can get the hell up out of here, man. The more we think about staying here, the more uh, uh, painful it is, you know, to think about. This is the book of uh, Sirach, chapter 35. And 14, he would not despise the supplication of the fatherless, nor the widow when she poureth out her complaint. Do not the tears run down the widow's cheeks, and it's not her cry against him that causes them to fall. He that serves the Lord shall be accepted with favor, and his prayer shall reach unto the clouds. You see, so our prayers is going to be accepted with favor, meaning the Most High is going to give us a VIP pass on our prayers. You know? And the patience and the faith for the saints is to see your enemies in captivity. If you if that's not your patient, if you're not patiently waiting for that, then you ain't you ain't one of his. All right, because the saints are the Israelites. However, the Israelites that's going to be saved. All right, are the ones looking at the appearing of Yahweh Shai, and with Yahweh Shai when he comes, he's going to put you devils in slavery. There's prophecies that says what well, Isaiah, I think Isaiah 24. That we're going to have these devils in slavery, Isaiah 14, Revelations 13, we already know. You know, various precepts that says we're going to put these heathens in slavery, man. Isaiah 49, you know. Can't wait to get out of here, man. You know, and these uh, lessons are very therapeutic in the spirit. This is 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 24. For all First Peter 1 and 23, being born again, not a corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. For all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man as the flowers of grass. The grass withereth, and the flower thereof falleth away. But the word of the Lord endureth forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. And I brought this out to, um, you know, for brothers that may get weary at times. We got to remember that the Lord's words will stand at the last. The Most High's words will stand forever. You see, Esau's kingdom was prophesied to stand for a certain period of time. However, the Lord's kingdom, when the well of righteousness, as Yahweh Shai says, is going to last forever and ever. So this is Daniel 7 and 17. These great beasts, which are four, are four kings, which shall rise out of the earth. But the saints, right, going into... The major empires, some of them being, well, you had Assyrian, Babylonians, you had the Medes and the Persians, the Greeks, the Romans, America, which is, uh, you know, Rome reincarnated. All right. So it says, these great beasts, which are four, are four kings, which shall arise out of the earth. 
but the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Jump down to verse 27. But the judgment shall sit. 26. And they shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy it until the end. And the kingdom and dominion and greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominion shall serve and obey him. Hitherto is the end of the matter. As for me, Daniel, my cogitations much, much troubled me. All right, that's pretty much it. You know, all the means going to serve our power, Yahweh by Hashim Yahweh Shai. So the world's going to change at the appearing of our Lord, Yahweh by Hashim Yahweh Shai. As it says in Revelation 21, he's going to bring, come back with healing. The Most High is going to come back with gifts, you know, and it's going to be everlasting. All right, so I want to end it off. You know, by saying, call Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh for blessing us to come out of this. And Lord willing, very soon, he bring that MOTB so we can get out of here and get that World War III going. So with that, Shalom to the elect.